heart from Jesus. You see, some players on the global stage, they do not mean real peace. They don't want real peace. While they are speaking of global peace, their actions are contrary to that peace. Many who speak peace for one nation, yet are promoting war in another nation. What kind of world peace is that? This is a, that that's partiality. If we want world peace, then it should be for all nations. If we can have world peace for certain nations and then enticing war, fuel, uh, fuel, putting fuel in 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 the fire. To, in other nations so there could be war there could be chaos that's deceitful that's how we that's why I, I, I say we gotta know the players see who's talking about this peace then we will be able to also discern if this peace they're talking about is it the real peace that is from the source of the prince of peace or is it from the prince of the darkness the prince of this earth that is deceiving because when they're talking of this peace, 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 wait for that sudden destruction because that's what the word of God say. We're going to stand on the word of God and believe the word of God. That's what we're, I'm, I'm not talking about anybody. I'm just speaking the word, what the word say. This is what the word say. And we have to use the word. We are children of the living God, followers of Christ, believers of Christ. We stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. That is the gospel of the kingdom of God. We have no other. We only have one. It's one Jesus Christ. One Holy Spirit. One God. And all three are one. Hallelujah. One gospel of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. The world cannot give what it doesn't have, my brothers and sisters. There will be always trouble in this world. We as his followers should know that we have his peace. We got to know no matter what's going on. Even as it says in Psalm 23 verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. You are with me, your, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. That's the comfort that we have when we have the peace, when we have the his peace. And we, when we have his peace also, we will also speak in the order of Psalm 46. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. And we will end with this note. Let's turn to... Psalm 46. Psalm 46, verse 10. Hallelujah. When we have the peace from the Prince of Peace, the real source from, from Jesus Christ, our shalom, and when we have that peace, oh, we can boldly say hallelujah. According to the word of God in Psalm 46, verse 10, be still and know that I am God, I will be exalted among, uh, among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. We will trust and believe. When we have that peace, we will know that God, we will be still. And we will know that he is God. And we will know that he is God. And we will always be exalted among the heathen. All those who made to bring fear, to bring all kind of chaos, to bring all kind of tribulation, all kind of things. Yes, those things will happen. Oh, Jesus told us, yes, those things will happen in the last days. But he also wants us to remember that he overcome the world. He also wants us to remember that we should be still or we should not be afraid. We should have that peace in our heart. Our heart should be at peace. Even though when we see everything falling down, everything is crumbling down, we have to continue to stand and believe in his word. Remember he said he have gone to prepare a place for us. Wherever he is, we shall be. 
and he's coming back to take us or we have to to hold on to his truth we have to hold on and the very thing that could help us to hold on is peace without peace my brothers and sisters we cannot think straight without peace oh there's nothing that can be accomplished everything seems too chaotic but when we are peace when things are even when things are going oh oh chaotic but there's still a flow we could still flow we could still flow we still we could still go from glory to glory because oh and we will see we will be still and we could stand and see and see the salvation and see how the lord will help us we'll see how the lord will see us Oh, from one trouble after another, he is able to see us through. That we will not be afraid. We will not fright. We will not be oh, oh, fearful. But we will have that peace. When we have peace, we will have joy. When we have joy, we'll be able to worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to your name. We thank you. We bless you, Lord, for this peace that you have left us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit.